25 of the Liverpool supporters answered their bail, reporting to the court for the largest extradition hearing in British legal history. The 26th turned up this afternoon after a warrant had been issued for his arrest. There wasn't room in the dock for all the defendants. Most took seats normally occupied by court officials and reporters. Presenting the Belgian government's case for extradition, Michael Sherard QC said the Heisel Stadium riot was the greatest ever man-made tragedy to afflict a sporting event. The defendants, he said, were among the men who caused that tragedy. Mr. Sherard said Liverpool supporters, many of whom had been drinking heavily, mounted two or three charges against Juventus fans before the 1985 European Cup final. Some British and Italian supporters had tickets for the same section of the stadium, but other Merseysiders demolished fences to get at the Italians who panicked. 39 people, 34 of them Italians, were crushed and suffocated when a wall collapsed under the pressure. The court was told Merseyside police studied video recordings of the riot before picking out the 26 defendants. The prosecution said one of the defendants, when questioned by police back in Liverpool, said, we were animals, I'm ashamed and sick. I didn't care which Italian I hit, I lost my head and started hitting anyone. The court is expected to take two months to decide if the Liverpool 26 will be extradited. In Belgium, the charge of manslaughter, if proved, carries a maximum sentence of 15 years. Paul Davis, News at 10, Highbury.